Every day in community pharmacies around Australia, a commitment is being silently and efficiently honoured. It's a promise participants in the industry make to each other, and one that underpins optimum healthcare outcomes for patients. It's the community service obligation, a critical undertaking that ensures timely access to medicines for everyone, regardless of where they live. And nowhere is it more important than in regional Australia. So the CSO is of critical importance to us in Bensdale and I guess to the rest of Australia for that matter. So in our area we're uh, three and a half hours east of Melbourne in a rural area. We need deliveries every day. Telling a patient oh, I'll come back next week is unacceptable for them and it's unacceptable to the doctors and I think it's unacceptable to me too. The CSO also embodies the very essence of cooperative problem solving. And that was never more evident than during the bushfires that ravaged parts of Tasmania in early 2013. Our pharmacy was actively involved in the delivery of, of medications during the Tasmanian bushfires and uh, again uh, our wholesaler was uh, actively involved in supporting us as a partnership in doing that. Uh, they were out at the warehouse often at 10.30 at night uh, picking an order so that it could be delivered by boat so that it would be at our pharmacy uh, the next day. It could be argued that pharmacy is at its best in a crisis. The Queensland floods of early 2013 not only showcased the industry's ability to rise to and meet logistical challenges, but also its people, underlining the critical role pharmacy plays in the front line of Australia's healthcare system. During the, the last disaster that we've had, we were cut off by road from every direction, so we couldn't get to Bundaberg, we couldn't get south to Brisbane, we couldn't get north to Rockhampton. So it meant that um, we had people stuck in town and the only way to get the medications out here was with the help of the emergency services who have other routes of getting things out here. So our wholesaler had organised having a police escort through the back roads of behind the river somewhere and, and got here. As anyone in the industry can attest, although extraordinary events such as floods and fires are thankfully rare, there are very few days in pharmacy that could ever be called ordinary. And even in the major metropolitan cities, the CSO guarantees a service level that is critical to patient care. The timely delivery of medication is critical. These are people that are sick, They've usually waited to see their doctor, they've waited to see a pathology, they've waited again to see a specialist, and you know, the last thing they want to do is wait in the pharmacy. Just to give you an example, I had a palliative care patient who needed some medication that I didn't carry, and uh, I was able to access that on the portal, and within a matter of hours, the um, wholesaler was able to deliver it to us, which was enormous relief to the patient and his family. While customer service is at the heart of the CSO, it also guarantees a competitive marketplace, giving pharmacists the power to choose. The CSO is much more than a formal document, more than a funding agreement. It embodies a spirit where the industry works together, from the warehouse through to pharmacy, to go the extra mile for patient care. CSO is essential absolutely essential for us to be able to provide the continuance of medication and treatment to our customers. Without it, people would go without uh, medications that are keeping them in a, in a stable state of health uh, and, um, and, and without it there would be a lot of problems. I think the CSO is incredibly important to the healthcare landscape. It ensures that PBS medications are accessible to all Australians irrespective of where your pharmacy is. The CSO is absolutely vital to this business. Without it, we, uh, we grind to a halt and become very irregular in our ability to deliver health outcomes. Um, and I, I feel a lot less proud of what I do by letting people go all the time and not being able to service their needs. Without the CSO, we wouldn't be able to deliver what's, what's expected by consumers who come into the pharmacy. So it's matching expectations and they are realistic expectations than what they should expect a pharmacy.